Hey guys, we back with another video. And this video is gonna be real good. And it's gonna be hitting touchy subjects because we are, we just thank God for his spirit. And we were gonna be talking about the Holy Spirit today and we thank God about it. And we just like, we just excited to you to come to you with this video and just to share, you know, the word with you, to share what God been doing in our life, how he's been speaking to us. So we're going to start with a prayer. Lord, we thank you right now for just having us yes, just Lord. to sit in your presence, Father. We thank you for what Jesus yes. has done for us to give us this opportunity to be yes, in Lord. your presence presence to connect us back to you father yes, there's no more separation we thank you father that yes. you would know you would never leave us nor forsake us we thank yes. you so much for giving us this word for your people and we thank you so much yes, that their hearts are ready to receive their minds are open yes, and holy Lord. spirit have your way and we thank you for your anointing in jesus my name. name amen thank you Lord. okay y'all we talking about the holy spirit today okay like all this week, it's it's been like it's been a little. It, I've been having dreams, like visions, and it's just like man. And I was like, when you have dreams, vision, and you don't really, it's like you you kind of understand it a little bit, but you need more clarity. You need the you need the Holy Spirit to help you to to show you more. So um, I'm gonna start off with this one dream I had. This I was listening to the word, you know, just chilling, listening to the word, you know, and um, I was like, okay, I'm going to fall asleep. Let me take a nap before the kids get out of school. And I lay down, went upstairs, got my pillow, and I just laid on the, on the couch. And I was like, let me get a couple of an hour or so in until the kids get home. So I laid down. I had this dream. And it's crazy. It's, it was like a big, like, fox, an orange fox. And it was like in a cartoon character form. So it wasn't like a, like a, oh, it was like a, just a gentle fox in a cartoon character form. And then a man walked up. You couldn't see the face or anything. It just it had a white like robe or white outfit on or something. And the fox went over to reach and hug the guy. And then I seen a white, a hand with a white glove on it, started typing. Cartoon character form started like hitting buttons. And I was like, out then in my dream, I was like, something's happening, something's happening. And I woke up and I was like, wow, like what was that? But what, what whatever was about to happen was good. It was like it was real good. So but to me, it was powerful. And to me, when I woke up saying, when I woke up and thought of my, heard myself saying something coming, because I thought I was really awake saying it because it felt so real. I'm like, something's coming, something's happening, or something's happening. I was like, wow, something's about to happen. And that was it. So I, but I really don't, I really didn't understand it. So I just started praying to God in the spirit. So that's what we want to talk about. The Holy Spirit. You guys, when we don't know what to pray about and you're confused about something, you know, and you want more understanding, it's so good to pray in the spirit because the Holy Spirit knows what's going on and knows what you should pray about. You know what I'm saying? So, and he will give you more understanding about what's going on in your life and more vision about what's going on and i can say this week this past week i've been having like dreams and stuff like that and it's been like and i haven't really been like understanding like what is these dreams i'm having but it's okay and that's the best part about when you don't understand that it's okay. So what I do, I just go in my room, close the door, and I just pray in the spirit. And then when I pray in the spirit, I feel such a, a relief because when I don't know what to pray about, the Holy Spirit, he knows what's to pray, what to pray about. And it's perfect. It's God's perfect will. And we're going to read um, the, what's it? Which one is that? Romans 12 1. We're going to read one, Romans 12 1 first. We're going to start with, you know, one body in Christ. And we're going to just take it from there. And, you know. And, and I, I like how what you said earlier, like mm -hmm. when you do have certain dreams and you don't understand, and you said, what do you do? Just pray in the Spirit. And, and then it starts 
to reveal itself. Yeah, uh, yeah, you know, later the, on. yeah. The Holy Spirit started showing me what that dream really meant. You know, so we're gonna um, we're gonna start at Romans twelve and one. And that's what I love about God. I, I, man, he is just so awesome. Like right? when you just going through something in life, you don't know what you what to do. Pray in the spirit, y'all. I'm telling you, God, he knows. He knows what to do. So we're going to start with you. With Romans 12, 1. I, I appeal to you, therefore, brothers, by the mercies of God, to present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, which is your spiritual worship yes yeah, i mean that that right there is so deep and i know y'all probably like what's that got to do with plant praying in spirit because when you just present your body to god as a living sacrifice holy and acceptable in his sight it's like you're giving him you like lord like i don't know show me what to do just use me just i don't know you know and that's part of just letting god just take over and just leading your life, like lean not to your own understanding. He leads your life and he'll just, man, he, and it's good when he leads your life because he ain't going to take you nowhere wrong. He ain't going to do nothing wrong He, because he know the plans he has for you, plans to prosper you, not to harm you, to give you a hope in the future. And that is so important, like, oh, my God. And it, that's important. That is really important, y'all, like. I just, I mean, I just thank God that I just gave him all of me back in two. I, I gave him all of me, you know, when I was 16, when I got saved. But when I, when I say gave him all of me is when I just laid everything down. Like I just got tired of making my own choices and some of them was wrong. I was like, Lord, you know what? I'm living this life. I don't know what's going on. It ain't working. I'm making my own decisions. With not the, I, I wasn't seeking the guidance of the Holy Spirit, and stuff was going wrong. And He just, when I did that that day, he said, "Lord, you just do what you please with me." It's been good ever since, y'all. God is so good. I'm just so grateful, you know, just to have Him in my life, you know. But yeah, it's so important for you to submit yourself to Him because. All the mistakes that you make, he won't make if you trust him. Just trust him. He won't make no mistakes. He's just going to, man, he's going to bless you. He's just going to keep you in perfect peace. If you keep your mind stayed on him, he just, he is so good, y'all. And so he helps you with your children. He helps you financially to keep your bills paid. Like everything, food on your table, roof over your head. God is good. And y'all, this one scripture, this is another scripture that is so linked to this. Like, okay, Matt, we're going to read Matthew 8, 20. This is so good. So Matthew 8, 20. Yeah. <clears throat> and Jesus said to him, foxes have holes and birds of the air have nets, but the Son of Man has nowhere to lay his head. Y'all see how deep that is? He has nowhere to lay his head. It don't mean like he has no way to lay his head physically. If, if we present our body to him as the living sacrifice, holy and acceptable in his sight, and he needs a body, right? He needs a body. He is the head. He said, "We it's no, no longer us who live, but Christ lives in us. We have the mind of Christ. So when you present your body to him as a living sacrifice, he becomes the head. And if he becomes the head, he can just like guide your members, your arms, your feet, your tongue, your thoughts. That is so good, guys. Like, man, he said, birds have nests. Foxes have holes. Birds have nests. But the what does it say? The son of man has nowhere to but lay. But the son of his man head. has nowhere to lay his head. He is talking about laying his head, putting, putting, giving you his mind, because we are the body of Christ. So he is the head. So if he had your body, and man, do you know how awesome that is? Do you know how good? Like man, if you just 
Let him just take control. Submit yourself to him as a living sacrifice. He will use all your members. He will tell you what to say when it's time to say it. When you in front of men, like people who like so educated and so this and that. I mean, he will give you so much knowledge. He will just speak through you. I kid you not. People, guys, look. He is the head. You are the body. He, he needs somewhere to lay his head. Man. He's talking about putting putting like himself in you. He is in you. Let him take control. If you submit yourself to him as a living sacrifice, he becomes the head and you are the body. So everything you do will prosper. Everything you do will prosper. God makes no mistakes. He wants to prosper you in all things and be in good health, even as your soul prospers. I'm telling you guys, it's so important to tune in and to just tap into the spirit. The Holy Spirit is so important because they said the Holy Spirit searches the deep thoughts of God. That's 1 Corinthians 2.10. Read that, baby. That is, man, God is so good. 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 10. Mm -hmm. These things God has revealed to us through the spirit. But the Spirit searches everything, even the depths of God. The, the Spirit searches everything. He searched the deep thoughts of God about you, everything concerning you, about your life. The Holy Spirit knows your destiny. He knows where you should be, when you should be there, when you're supposed to be successful. You, when He know it all about you. I'm telling you. Yeah, he we, knew you before you were even in your mother's womb. Yes, so. he knew you before that. He we he knew you before the foundation of this earth. You were already like existed. You already existed. I'm telling you, God is so good. You guys, like the Holy Spirit knows your what you supposed to be in life. Where you supposed to be in life. He know you. You just have to submit yourself to Him. And a lot of people don't want to do that only because it's, it, it requires giving up things. It's okay. It, it, and it's, it's crazy because it doesn't require giving up. Like, it just requires just taking care of yourself more and just letting God do what he pleased to you. So if you're going through sickness in your body, you ain't got to worry about it because it's not you who live, but Christ lives in you. You got healing in your body. You know everything pertaining to life in God. There's healing inside you. Everything that you need to do in this life, everything that you need to know in this life is on the inside of you. Read that one scripture, um, 2 Peter 1, 3. That's good, y'all. We know everything pertaining to life and godliness. That's Second Peter chapter 1, verse 3. I'm telling you, Holy Spirit is so powerful, guys. I know a lot of you guys don't really understand about it, but it's okay. I didn't understand. I had to search. I had to seek, diligently seek, so I can get more understanding. I had to want it. I, you the know. word says... He rewards who who diligently seek him. Yes. And then the, the word also says, uh, you know, seek ye the kingdom of God and all his righteousness and all these things shall be added to you. And that's, 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 that's part important. of it. All you got to do is seek him. That's it. And I'm telling you, like, you will not go wrong seeking God because he made no mistake. He take care of his people. He really do. He take real care of his people. Go ahead. Thank you, Jesus. Chapter 2, uh -huh. verse, verse 1. Second um, Peter chapter one verse three. Okay, His divine powers has granted to us all things that pertain to life and godliness, through the knowledge of Him who called us to His own glory and excellence. So He said, "We know everything pertains to life and godliness." If you know everything pertains to life and godliness, and you walk around like you don't know nothing, that's because. You haven't started diligently seeking him yet. You know what I'm saying? Because the whole we grieve the Holy Spirit by not letting God take full control over our bodies. And it, it's, it's not a bad thing. All you're doing is basically listening to God and following his command carefully. That's all it is. You know what I'm saying? And you, you just have to just, man, it, it's, it's okay to give up stuff that's bad for you. You know what I'm saying? It's okay. It's okay to give up. I mean, 
the Holy Spirit is in you regardless. Once you get born again and you accept Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, the Holy Spirit is automatically in you. It's up to you to have a relationship with. That's up to you. Like, if you want to get to know him, like, okay, um, I heard about you, Holy Spirit. You didn't got, they say you was on the inside of me. Um, I'm going through this right now, and I don't know how to get out. Just show me what to do. Because he knows the deep thoughts of God about your life. That's why he's here to guide us into all truth. That's why he's here to show you that you already know everything pertaining to this life and godliness. He, You already know. So it's okay. I you're not crazy you know people out here i kid you not we, we, we ain't gonna make this video too long people out here searching for spirits they searching different spirits like spirits that's not of god this the bible said we don't fight against flesh and blood but we fight against spirits spirits that have places people out here are searching different spirits you feel what i'm saying and then when the church start talking about the holy spirit it's awkward it shouldn't be awkward. Satan wants you to think it's awkward because the Holy Spirit is a person. He really do exist, okay? God's Spirit is on the inside of you if you are born again. He is on the inside of you, and he's ready to lead you and guide you to all truth. He's ready to take you your life to the next level. He's ready to get you out of poverty and because poverty is a curse. That's not part of God's will. Being poor is not part of God's will. He's ready to bring his people out. You, when you start diligently seeking God, I'm telling you, you will start coming out of a lot of stuff that you are in. He would give you wisdom, revelation, and the knowledge of him. He would give, he would just open your heart up and enlighten it to the plans that he has for your life. But it's up to you to want that relationship with God. It's up to you to start diligently seeking him. It's up to you. Nobody else. It's up to you. You know what I'm saying? But um, is there anything you want anything you want to say before we cut this? No, I'm, I'm just in agreement with you. Uh, I, there's this one scripture that I always fall back to that it, it represents us and, man, and the, the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit, I don't want to get too complicated, but the Holy Spirit is just another part of God. And that's God's power that yeah. lives inside us. But in Luke chapter 4 verse 18 through 19, you know, this is this is what uh Jesus said after he experienced the 40 days and 40 nights in the wilderness, he went to the temple afterwards and then he uh, opened up the scroll of Isaiah. And Isaiah had a prophecy that was supposed to take place and he was uh unrolling it and uh, speaking it out the prophecy that's that was done which was when he unrolled it and spoke it the spirit of the lord is upon me because he has anointed me to proclaim the good news to the poor he has sent me to proclaim liberty to the captives and recovering of sight to the blind and to set liberty to those who are oppressed and to proclaim the year of the lord's favor and and that's what is going on right now but like Tanika said uh when we don't understand certain things the dreams that take place that God is revealing things to us he wants us to speak it to pray in the spirit yes and then uh it, it will re be revealed because mm -hmm. that's the, the the man the deeper thoughts of God that's that's uh that's the answers to everything because when the spirit of the Lord is upon you Man, the Spirit of the Lord, uh, man, it, it, it informs us, it, it empowers us, it, it does everything for yes. us. Yes, it's, it's so important, guys. Like, I kid you not, when we first got down here over 10 years ago, you know, we, we loved God, we knew God, we knew He loved us, you know, and we, we, we were seeking after Him. But we really, really start really diligently seeking him. Like, okay, we, we got to get into this more. We got to get to know God. Because when we get to know God, we get to know who we are. When we get to know who he is, because we are we made in his image after his likeness. So when we get to know him, we get to know us, who we are. Because we're just like him. He made us just like him. He said he's the king of kings. What, what do you think that means? We are kings. 
We are kings and queens. He's the king of kings and queens. He, he, God, God, man, God, in God kingdom, in the kingdom of God is nothing but kings and queens. There's nothing but kings. He is the king of kings. I'm t I kid you not, God is so good. And I heard that from Miles Monroe earlier, y'all. He, God is good. Like, he just, man, he's just out. He's waiting for the rise of, the earth is eagerly waiting for the rise of sun, sons and doors. For us to get up and speak out. You know what I'm saying? We're going to cut this video short. We hope it blesses you. We want you to watch this video. And just, man, we just ready for y'all to know the truth so y'all can get out of these this bondage that the Satan, that the enemy try to keep us in, you know, he's trying to keep us in bondage, keep, keep us in lack, keep us in debt, keep us just bound. No, it's time to break free, break this chains. The anointing destroys that yoke. It's time to tap into the Holy Spirit. Well, who's the Holy Spirit? Who's the, what's the anointing? The Holy Spirit, God's power. But anyway, we're going to cut this short because we don't want it to go, you know, too long, you know what I'm saying? But you guys, thanks for watching our videos, and we love you guys, and Jesus loves you too. Amen.